everyone, I'm Rebecca Wiedemer, and I want to thank you for watching this special feature in our COVID-19 series, where you will learn about utilizing online platforms to build your food industry business. This video is sponsored by the American Culinary Federation, Golden Grove Global, and Rocky Mountain Food Partners. Well, my name is Travis Smith. I am the chef owner of Bistro Colorado. We started in Evergreen, Colorado, which is about 20 miles west of Denver in the, the foothills. We, we started with the first food truck on um, October 2012. And then we had a second food truck six months later and six months after that we had our, the restaurant open, the first restaurant open. We, we've kind of switched up our concept a little bit because of COVID-19. I mean, we were so new and we were, we were really making a little bit of headway. We were making a name. Um, looking at our model when we first opened this location. So we were trying to operate very lean because there's not enough volume. There's not enough business volume. And I don't have any of the PPP loans or any of the, um, we don't have any of the financial um, assistance yet. We're still working on it. We're hoping for it. Knowing which which ones of the social media um, that are available to use and how to use them is, I think is a, is a continuous learning process. I think it continues to evolve. Make the most of influencers, you know, social media influencers. Um, so I'm learning that now more than ever. Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat. I just saw something today. I ordered some banners for um, to hang up and I got a promotion from Office Max, Office Depot, same company now, about um, $100 of free advertising on Snapchat. LinkedIn too. You know, that's, I think LinkedIn is a pretty valuable, um, more of a professional level sort of um, networking. I was really working on driving traffic into the restaurant. We had regular customers who were talking about our restaurant to their neighborhoods, you know, on Nextdoor, the app called Nextdoor. So a lot of, I'm looking at all kinds of different platforms for online ordering. We have used, I've actually signed up for a bunch of them just so I can get a closer look at them. Um, one of them is called Munchem, order them. It's the same company. Uh, Munchum is probably a little more catchy. When I'm looking at Talk, have you heard of Talk? T-O-K is, is a, uh, an online ordering platform. Uh, they actually just introduced the online takeout ordering. Talk is like OpenTable. Um, you're familiar with OpenTable. It's world famous. But um, Talk is less costly for restaurants to use. And it's more of like an event type thing. So for example, if you were going to go to a beautiful wine dinner at the ranch, talk would be a way that you would go in and you would say, yeah, we're going to make a reservation. There's two of us in our party. It's $300 per person. We're going to pay ahead. And you go in there and it's like you arrive and everything's paid for in advance, that type of thing. That's how talk works. We're, we're exploring another one called drive through on demand and they, helped Chick-fil-A develop the technology where if you pull up to Chick-fil-A and you push that button that says, I'm here, right? So you, when you pull up your car and you, you park and say, I'm here, um, then they're gonna bring your order out. With Chick-fil-A now, what they do is you, you push the button that says, I'm here, and then that's when you pay for the meal, when you're, when you're there. So we use Clover for our um, point of sale system. So Clover has probably five or six different online ordering platforms that they, that they use. Munchum is one of them. And then there's a bunch of other ones. Um, and, you know, we looked at a lot of them. So there's a new one called the ordering app. And I'm also looking at DoorDash and I'm looking at Grubhub and I'm looking at these other ones. Now what those folks do is those, they charge um, about 30% and I'm going to do chow now. And I'm also going to do, um, the uh, DoorDash is because they have all the systems in place. And somebody in this neighborhood might say, I'm hungry, 
Let me see what I can get from DoorDash. It's a marketing opportunity that I see is like, let's give it a try. How can we do it in-house? How can we build our own online platform so that um, people can pay online and then we can do in-house delivery um, using our own in-house staff? You know, right now with everything going on, um, the National Restaurant Association's guidelines for uh, reopening, you know, we've got to look at that. We've got to consider what the Center for Disease Control um, is, you know, the guidance we're getting uh, from them. Um, it's a crazy world. It's like the Wild West out there right now. The only thing that is certain is that everything is changing day to day with the COVID-19 uh, outbreak. But um, there's a lot of opportunity for, uh, you know, for all of us out there. And uh, my name is Travis Smith. And please reach out to me. Contact us through our website, bistrocolorado.com. You can fill out an information request form there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach out to the ACF directly or me, Rebecca at goldengroveglobal.com. Cheers.